Okay guys, story time. All right, so I am just very fed up right now and I have several reasons why, let me explain. Okay, right, so it's 12.45, I was supposed to leave at 12. Um, I'm going to lunch and an escape room with my friend Danny. Um, she's been in some of my main channel videos, but not on my vlog yet, but she's going to today. Um, but anyways, so, so anyways, so last night, it's not like I had to get up early today or anything, but like, I still kind of wanted to go to bed somewhat early, like last night, and like, I mean, I still could have slept in, but like, I, you know, I wanted like a reasonable amount of sleep. I got ready for bed and everything, and like, sometimes I fall asleep without like getting fully ready for bed and that like annoys me. And so anyways, so I got ready for bed, like I showered and everything, like I went and showered at like 1.30 because I was up editing. And I got like really tired, so I was like, you know, I want to get a good night's sleep. So I went and showered and all that stuff. I brushed my teeth, got all ready for bed. And I was gonna like watch. So I was editing a main channel video, which is going up today. Today's Wednesday. And I was gonna watch through my video um, to make sure like nothing was wrong with it and then like save it or whatever. And okay, so anyway, so I was getting ready for bed and I was about to get into bed and I see, like I'm not sure if I'm like seeing things, but like I see something like fly into like my lamp. And like, I'm like, hmm, and was, was I like just seeing that? And so like, I didn't want to check because it like looked sort of like a big bug, but I'm not really sure. And so I'm like, asked my brother, he's like still up in the game room on the Xbox. And I'm like, hey, like, can you come look in my lamp? Like, I feel like I, there was a bug. And so he looked in it, there was nothing in there. So he comes and looks, there's like nothing in the lamp. So he like turns it off for me. And then I'm about to get into bed and I see like a ginormous bug on the side of my like bed like crawling up and I was guys I was literally about to get into my bed and there was like I just I don't know what I, I like I'm already traumatized but I don't know like what would have happened if I had gotten into bed with that so then like I asked my brother like dude there's like actually like a bug in my room like I'm not seeing things like I need you to like come kill it and so you like obviously he thinks I'm like over exaggerating or whatever and so like we turn the light on my room and then he sees it and he's like okay that's literally like four or five inches and it was a flying ginormous roach and so yeah <laughs> so anyways so like we're like I'm like screaming bloody murder because I hate bugs especially roaches are like just disgusting okay like I don't like spiders, but I honestly would rather deal with that just because they don't fly. So then we wake my mom up and she tries to come kill it and she's obviously annoyed because she has work the next day. And the bug goes and crawls into the back of my closet. So no one wants to deal with it and kill it. So at this point, it's like, like three something and no one wants to kill it. So I, one, can't sleep in my room like I wanted to. like. So I have to sleep on the couch, which like our couch isn't like uncomfortable. Like I fall asleep down there sometimes, but I like would like to sleep in my own bed, you know? And so, so I have to fall asleep on the couch and then I'm freaking like traumatized because I almost got in bed with this, like, okay, like roaches are already disgusting, but this one was like literally huge. And it, oh my gosh, like I just like, if I, one, when and how and what, why was it in my room? How did it get in there? And when did it get in there? Like I just am, like I almost like I almost got into bed with that. Like I don't even know what I would have done. Anyways, okay. So then at this point, like I literally cannot fall asleep because I'm scared there's roaches like everywhere in my house now. And like I literally keep waking up in the middle of the night. Like I didn't get to fall asleep till like past four. And like yeah, so I was like freaking out and like. Literally, I kept waking up thinking there was like stuff on me and I literally like had two dreams about the roach. Like one was that it was like on the couch with me and then another one was that we finally killed it and everyone was just screaming bloody murder. But um, yeah, so that was really fun. I don't know, I'm just really annoyed because I wanted to get a good night's sleep and I didn't get to, I didn't even get to sleep on my bed. <sighs> so yeah, and then, okay. So I saved my video before I went to bed last night and so I try uploading it today and I like make a thumbnail and everything and I'm ready to ha have it like upload by like 12, 1, sometime in between then. And so like the first time I try and it's like, oh, this is an unsupported file, you can't upload it. And I'm like, what? It's literally an MP4 file. Like, why is it not working? And then I try it again, doesn't work again. And I'm like, I literally have to leave. Like I'm 
obviously I'm running like I'm almost an hour late so I mean what's new but like that's just annoying and so then I look and I saved it incorrectly last night probably because I was stressed and tired and so yeah so now it's saving again and and I literally have the thumbnail ready and like everything and so I wanted it to go up between like 12 and 1 which would have been more reasonable I'm literally so freaking aggravated so yeah so basically a roach is raining in my life and it's still in the back of my closet not dead so that's my little rant story time for the day um i'm almost at danny's now but yeah so i'm just having a really great really great day hey <laughs> hey vlog <laughs> okay guys so we went to get food but i didn't get anything because i wasn't hungry but then i got hungry and then it was too late to get food but right now we're at Red Door Escape Room. That's what it looks like. But I don't think I don't think I can vlog in there, which kind of sucks. But it's okay. We'll give a review after we've gone in. I'm scared. Hopefully we make it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, guys. So we're back at Danny's like apartments or whatever. And so obviously we couldn't vlog in there. Like we couldn't even have our phones. But that was actually like really fun. Like I've never done something like that again. Or again before. <laughs> like that before but um yeah it was kind of we're not like smart enough for that i was struggling i, I definitely like recommend it it's yeah fun. it's so much fun yeah but you need like more than two people yeah it's because like because the minimum is two people and we were gonna go with like some other people but none but of them could like, go us, so. yeah but um yeah so i definitely think it'd be fun with like four or six people and we need more brains cause yeah because like there was three rooms there was three rooms and we got we almost got to the third. We got to the second. We were like one. And they give you away. one hour. Yeah, they give you one hour with three clues, but they technically give you more clues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so like they'll give you three free clues, but it's so hard to explain. But yeah. like, if you are struggling and if they see that you like think you need the clue because you're so close, they'll like give it to you. Yeah. So. I know, but it's like. <laughs> Because you're in there and they're watching you and yeah. they hear you. So I'm like, they probably think I'm like, because obviously they know how to figure it out. And I feel like I'm just like, wow, I'm like so stupid. Like they can, like, they're just watching us like struggle. I start you thinking they're watching me or hearing me. Yeah, I just, it's like the whole time they're watching you struggle. But yeah, it's really, it's like a mystery, like real life mystery thing. Our situation was like, this guy had bought his girlfriend like a, a antique brush. brush for Christmas Eve or something. And he left it in his uncle. Uncle shop. Uncle shop, and you had to get in and get out before like it alarmed the police or whatever. I actually thought the police, like some. Yeah, I thought some siren, siren was gonna go off. Because he kept on telling us like some noises are gonna go off, and I was like, I'm not ready. Yeah, but then nothing happened. Yeah. It just said time's out or up. But like the last room, the one we didn't get to figure out. But like he was showing us. Uh, like, like he showed we us were, the rest of it. I was like, I would have never. Yeah. Cause like they, there was a lot of But a of lot things. of it, like once they say like what you need to do, it's like, oh, that makes sense. And then like one hour went by so fast. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like I was like, I don't think it's gonna take an hour to figure this out. And then we anyway, didn't even finish. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend doing like an escape room if you haven't. I recommend it. Yeah, I recommend it too. So. Go find yourself a escape room. Yeah. Near you. The one we went to is called Red Door, but I know there's other ones. I think it's only here in Texas. I. I don't know. I don't know. Just look for an escape room near you. Near you. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. You're gonna wanna be my best friend. 